Hi everyone, it's the boy Sean. Welcome back to another Summoner's One video. So in this video, or in this stream, I tested the Dark Giant's Warrior, who share the same second skill with the Wind Giant's Warrior, which do damage based on their max HP. Not too sure, so I went in very unprepared. Should have done more research, in my opinion. So the Dark or the Wind Giant's Warrior will do the exact amount of damage that's equal to their maximum HP. So in this video, this unit had 40 K HP and it will do 40k pure damage to the enemy unit if there's only one unit on the enemy battlefield. <laughs> we kill, uh huh. We at last, uh huh. Then get a turn. We do 39,000. It went from 19,000. Okay, if there are two units split into two, we times one, we at last. Was that 19,000? If there are 5 units split into 5. So it's like Arnold, pure HP damage. There's no critting, there's no uh, glancing. It's just gonna be that amount of HP will be taken away from the enemy unit. If you are stunned after you throw the thing up, you will not do damage on your next turn. You need to wait another turn. We throw the stone up, we do the AoE. We do this. Wait, if I get stunned the next turn, do I do damage? Do I? Oh! Oh, if I get stunned, I don't do damage. Because I need to be awake to catch the stone. If I don't, the stone's gonna hit my head and I'll die. I think having immunity for him after he throw the thing up is very, very important so that he won't be stunned. Not about the fact that he will be killed because if this thing is killed, you get an additional turn immediately and do damage immediately. Or like if you have a what do you call that? Jemaya? It's gonna do like twice like that. Wait, let me see. At last. And then we buff up. I, I wanna see that 30 40k pop immediately. It does like 40k. Yeah, that was pretty nice. That was a big chunk of the boss HP. And you don't need ammo break for that to work. And the extra attack power reduction might be nice. And remember, for the win one, if the boss hit him, he reduced cooldown. So, for the win one, it will do more frequently compared to the dark one. Am I right? So the win one makes sense in the raid team. If that's the case, when you can reduce cooldown when the boss hit you. The win one has extra defense as well, so it's a better frontline tank. And you can just ruin for more resistance in, in general. Am I right? So the wind one can technically do the, the, the Atlas stone very frequently. And that is easily 40 to 50k damage. And you don't need to build the wind one too well because uh, the wind one has defense boost every, every time he does that. Okay, but, but that's it for now, okay? That's it for, for now. I'm not too sure how... How he can be better, or what practical use there are, you know, study a bit more, look into this thing a little bit more, and then I can let you guys know, okay? I appreciate your leave a comment, like the video if you enjoy the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one as soon as possible. Bye!